I had someone ask me how um, I get my babies um, weighed as much as I do. Um, my newborns, um, 18 inches to 21 inches, tend to range between 7 and a half and um, 9 pounds like um, a real baby would. So um, this, um, not necessarily a tutorial, but just showing how I weigh um, my babies. So, with the limbs, um, I have already filled the limbs um, and sealed them. For the arms and the legs, I fill them up with the um, glass, glass beads to about a half an inch to an inch um, to the top. And then I really stuff in um, the polyfill. And then I either use the plastic... Um, stoppers, which I prefer, um, but I don't always have. So if I <clears throat> put in the plastic stopper, I, I will seal with, um, and really be careful, please, if you use super glue. Uh, in the beginning, I learned my lesson, and now that I know what I'm doing, um, I don't make mistakes. But um, I use this super Loctite or Loctite super glue professional liquid. Um, to seal my ends because it dries fairly uh, fast and quick. So um, the plastic stopper, I put it in and I put the glue around and I will hold it and make sure, you know, it's on a level base and hold it long enough till it sticks. And then like over here in my drying rack that I have, like these arms can fit and be held like that until it completely dries. Um, and if I don't have the plastic stoppers, what I'll do is I'll get my uh, felt and I will cut it. And then I will put, once I stuff it, I will put a rim of glue. And this tends to dry a lot faster. And um, make sure you don't glue yourself to the felt. I've glued myself to plenty of dolls. Um, I just put the glue on there and um, completely around put the felt on and I will just touch in the corners and then I'll get something like this that won't stick and I will push and like turn until it's completely sealed around the edges um, to be done. So the limbs fill completely up with the glass till about an half an inch to an inch the top. Really stuff in as much fiber fill as you possibly can and then seal it. Um, for the head, I use, instead of using, I dislike using the nylons, the full nylon. So what I did is I started um, buying these, they're called like gum, something like you would find in one of those um, gum machines. Um, my little Walmart market had these for 33 cents. I completely bought them out and they didn't refill them back up, went to a bigger like Super Walmart, they were completely out. So I, I ordered some from China and been waiting forever for them to get in. So hopefully they'll be, as the, uh, be the same quality as these because um, I prefer these over long stockings. And these are uh, nylon socks. And you get two. So I'm going to use this for um, the body because um, I only had one of them left and I have an extra single nylon, nylon one and I'm going to use this single one in the head because it will be sealed and I don't have to worry about the um, glass coming out. But what I do with the head is I stick the stocking in and then I put it around the neck. what I use to pour the glass is this is a um, Tupperware lid for a cup the little spout here and what I do is I stick that in and I don't I, I liked in the beginning using the bags from Bountiful Baby because they're pretty much a pound so you can know how much you are um, putting in your baby um, but since then I've been buying in bulk cheaper so 
so I don't necessarily um, weigh as I go or know exactly how much I am putting in. Oops. But I start filling the head, filling the head until it starts to. Um, you can feel that weight, and um, I don't fill it up with a glass to the amount of weight I want the head to be at the time because once you put the fiber fill in and really stuff the head, the head's going to weigh even more. So you want it slightly to um, what you want your head to be because you don't want a baby that once you put the head on, the head is heavy and cannot hold itself up at all. And when I um, when I do a newborn sized baby, um, usually I will use two of these, two sets of the um, stockings. Okay, head is starting to fill a little. A little heavy, I think I'm good there. Just move that glass till it falls in there. And what I would do is I'd take the nylon off and pull it until all the glass goes down to the bottom. And I'm going to knot it real as tight as I can knot it. And then I'm going to go up about two inches and I'm going to knot it again. I am going to cut in the center between those two knots and I'll have enough stocking left to do um, another little pouch of glass beads and I do this um, and I'll show you where I do this one last. Okay, so once that is weighted with the glass beads, I'll get my polyfill. And what I do for the head, I make sure that the weight is near the back of the head. And then you start loading it up. And then when you put your finger in there and you're pushing the polyfill in, you want to press down on that sack and make sure that it's staying in the back of the head, near the bottom of the head. Because you want to be able to, um, most reborn mommies want to be able to um, pose their babies, have their babies sit up as well. And this way, the weight is not so far up to the back that your baby's head can't be sat up. So you want it near the base back of the head. So you just want to make sure that you're pushing <clears throat> this filler and you can use like the end of a brush or the skewer stick that I use to really push it into the foreheads, up by the ears. <clears throat> and once that's in there good, you want to come in and start filling in the cheeks. And it's amazing how much you can get stuffed inside the head. Because you want to be able to see that's still a lot of squeeze in there. And you want to make sure that especially like the neck area is stiff because um, I won't be putting a neck ring around him because um, the only neck rings I have um, are a 70 and a 65 and the 70 is too big and the 65 is too small. So 
I don't have a neck ring that will specifically fit him. I think that's all in that bag. I had another bag brought in just in case. And I always push in and curl under the lip to hold the frizzies down when you pack the polyfill in. And I really prefer if I were if I were you and you are not haven't done this for a while already, I would invest in stocking up on all the plugs because um, even if you don't have a neck ring um, you have that sturdiness of the hard plug in there that your neck won't um, squish so just put in as much as you possibly can So the head is, it is nice and weighted now. And usually it's, you know, it teeters a little bit. So it can't really stand up by itself as just the head. You want it to where it can barely balance. That way it's weighted correctly in my opinion as far as it being realistic so what I would do make sure you open this away from parts so that way if it accidentally spills or anything you're not dripping it in the hair or on your pieces because once glue Super glue drops on your vinyl, it's not coming off. It's not coming off. You might want to have safeguards just in case you can wipe it quickly. There is ways to cor correct it in a way, but you would have to completely do it all over your, your baby because it's going to leave a glossy spot. So it can be fixed. I have fixed babies that I have accidentally had it drip on but it's, it's a bit traumatizing for myself. So I'm going to put this disc on here. Just kind of tap it to where it sticks around. And then I'm going to take my little glass dish here and press and turn to make sure it's completely connected all around. So then the head is sealed. And then I will put him back in his little resting place over here until I get the rest of the body set. I spilled some glass. Messy, messy. I hate that. Okay, the lid back on my glue. And we'll get to the body. Okay. I've already put his legs on. Legs are the same as the arms. Fill it up a half an inch to an inch from the top. Fill with the polyfill. That way it's more realistic to where, you know, you can squish your chubby little baby thigh there and still feel the firmness in the foot. And sometimes I don't usually like tighten up the legs too much. That way you can adjust them a little bit of how they're sitting, but I know he's going to be sitting just how I want him. So I tightened him up, um, real good. And you can even, even when it's super tight, you can gradually move the fabric around and adjust the leg. So first I put the legs on and his legs. See, it's a little awkward because the legs want to sit like this and you go like this for the body. It just, it doesn't look real good until you really start filling it up because if you can see it's naturally going to be 
his legs are going to be bent like this because there's the tushy. And so this is the natural position of this body. So it's going to be a little difficult. And what I first do is I put some polyfill in the bottom because we want to get between the legs and the bottom. But you don't want to put too, too much because we're going to sit. Sometimes you got to work your arm in there and move it around. And you'll have to do this again once we put the bag in here to fill. Okay, so with the double stockings, what I do is take one. stick it on my hand take the other one and stick it over the first one so that way we have double thickness of the nylon to protect from the glass beads falling out and then just pull up the top to where they match and line up. And then to fill nylons easier, what I've taken is a small plastic Dixie cup and I've cut out the bottom and I just stick that into the top of the nylon. That way you can easily drop your glass in there. So what I usually do is I stick this inside the body and I still use my funnel piece here. And I will start filling it up. And this will be um, the biggest section that has the most weight in the body. Make sure that drops down. So if you have a real funnel, make this even easier. I just shake the top till the glass falls down. And again, I'm not really paying attention to weight, but if I was using the Bountiful Baby bags, depending on the size of the baby, you can put, I would say, anywhere from two, two to three pounds in this bottom section of the baby. Let me see if I can do this without dropping glass. Maybe not. how heavy that is, not very heavy. And this is, this part of the weighing is going to help, um, it's gonna sit near your baby's body, or bottom, um, to help, say if you want to um, pose your baby sitting up, you're gonna want, that weight near the bottom 
to stabilize the baby. And you want to um, weigh the body fairly well because if you're filling your limbs completely up with weight and your head completely up with weight, you don't want a fluffy body that's weightless because then your, your baby's just going to flop around. Okay, this feels nice and good here. So what I'm going to do is, now that I have that cup out and I can hold my nylon up and kind of move this around. I'm going to kind of push it down to where I, I want it. And what I'm going to do is pull the nylon down like before on the head and I'm going to knot it once. I'm not going to trim it. And now that I have <coughs> this weight down here that I want and how I want it, now it's time to start filling in around it with the polyfill to set it in place. And then you're going to have to probably get your hand in here, stick down in here because you want, <coughs> there's going to be, see this little loose stuff down here between the leg and the little butt cheek here and on this side you're going to need to get your hand in here <clears throat> and fill those push that polyfill into those little areas <clears throat> so you can see how that's getting fuller and then usually <clears throat> This body has a nice wider section, but um, other bodies, it's usually about half, and there's usually an extra space there, too, that you need to um, get that polyfill pushed in there. Make sure you don't, which I just did, lose your top piece of your nylon there. So just make sure that you start building up and filling all those gaps down at the bottom. So that way your bag of glass, your weight, is going to be set and there's going to be no gaps. He's going he's gonna to have a booty on him, what it looks like. I still need to get in here a little bit, but it's not as loose as it was. These are so tricky. Not, or maybe I have big hands. <laughs> Push. Push that filler in. And it's so it's it's soft, but there's weight. There's weight in there. like he's gonna have a nice squishy belly okay now once I start getting up I want to fill it up a little bit more because I want he's got a big body make sure you're filling all the way around but not all the way to the top Okay, 
So at this point, when I'm about three-fourths of the way stuffed, I'm going to take this the rest of this nylon and I'm going to put the cut back in and start filling it up some more. Oops, as I just toss glass beads in my lap. So the first part we weighed was the bottom and the second part is pretty much like filling up the chest cavity with weight, giving it a more realis realistic feel. You want to fill it up as much as you can and have room left to tie a knot. Slide it down till it's like a ball. And if you have extra, sometimes I just fold it back over the nylon sack to make it thicker. And then I start filling the rest of the body. To be able to sit him up, see I just was able to just need to tilt this up some more. I want to really fill in his body, giving it stability. As you can see, he's got his weight in his bum here. Usually put this top weight up just a little bit because you're going to have the weight in the back of the head. Now, if you were to fill or to completely fill this up, the rest of this up with a polyfill and then stick the head on, your head's going to be super floppy because there's a lot of space, squishy space between the weight because he's got a big body. Usually it's not for, he's either a big newborn or he looks like at least compared to my babies, my real babies, he could pass for almost a four to six month baby here. So you want to fill this pretty tight. This is when I take that extra stocking that I have left from um, the head. Usually it's a double one. Um, is when I take a well, while, put the arms on first. We can put the arms on and then we'll do the last part before the head. So stuff as much as you can. You don't want it too, too hard. Let's see. You don't want it too bulky but you don't want it 
too flimsy either. So usually I will test it and not completely do it until I know for sure that's what I want. Okay. So I will tuck those in after. Can be able to move his arms around. Okay, we could do this side. Seems like this has a little bit more than the other side. I want it to be the same. And sometimes you can, this fiber fill is too crazy. You can tighten your armhole a little bit. Just make sure it's not smaller than what you need to tuck your arm in. as much as possible. Okay, so there we have arms and legs on and as you can see he's not, he can sit up on his own just like that. So for the last step, I'll have to lace that later. Usually I slip it on um, before I put the arms but I'll have to do that later. So now I take the extra stocking from the head, what's left, and I'm going to fill it. I am just making a mess of glass today. Normally I hardly spill any. I'm gonna fill this with what's left in this bag and open my other bag. I can reach it without going so far. So I'm gonna open my other bag. to fill this stocking. And you want to fill this stocking up about the same as your second upper stocking. about a tennis ball size for this baby. And so what I'm going to do is tie a knot and I'm going to do like I did in the center since this is only um, one nylon. I'm going to reinforce that is flip the nylon over, tie a knot. So there's our double layer and it looks like there should be enough that I can even take this extra and flip it back over and now it's triple layer and the glass will not come out. So the purpose of this one piece is for the weight of the head so that your baby is not super floppy. Let me seal this and put this aside so there's no accidents and I spill the rest of my only glass I have right now. So let's get cannot believe how much glass I just completely spilled all over my desk. Okay, so we have all this stuffing here and we don't want to 
just put our head on because I've done this before where it's like, oh, tighten it up a little bit. Oh, that looks perfect. But then when you pick the baby up, it's the head's all over the place. So what we're doing is we're putting this sitting near the top. So when we put our head on, it has a solid base to sit on to be able to pose your baby and take pictures because without this piece, your, your baby's head's not going to be able to sit up to do pictures and it's not going to be able to sit up on its own. So you want it to be pretty much where this is level with the top. So when you put the head down and you push it down, it's going to be nice and stable. So I just make sure that I go and double check that I put stuffing in the shoulders because a lot of times this section will miss. If you don't go in there and poke it in and double check, this will be completely loose and there will be no stability in the shoulders. So once I put that weight in, I just go in and make sure all empty spaces around this weight is filled in. The chest is completely filled in, nice. And just tuck it through. And this you kind of want to put it towards the center. Because you're balancing out the weight in the body so that it can set. We're going to have weight in the bum, weight towards the front, weight towards the center, and then on your baby's head is going to be in the back. So back, front, center, back. That way it's even weight distribution so that your baby can be posable and sit, hopefully, on their own. So you just make sure all the fill is tucked in and sit your baby on that center weight. And then tighten, make sure there's no hair in there. Sometimes you got to wiggle, wiggle that weight around. See, he's floppy in the center. He's got solid weight near the end. He's floppy in the center. And just kind of move that weight around. So as you can see, he's already sitting, sitting up alone. So I don't have to, you know, you just move your weight around, make sure everything's adjusted correctly. Um, and he's so cute. So how, um, and then we'll see how much he weighs before I tighten everything up. So for my, I need to get a bigger scale. I have this little scale that I bought because I was going to make soaps once. And um, this is what I use. And I know that the post office says that my, my scale is like off by like three pounds, or not three pounds three ounces. So usually the bowls, this is, I don't usually use this bowl, but the bowl I usually use is about three ounces. This one's about five. I usually stick a bowl on there and I'll stick the baby in it. And this one says he weighs 8.5 pounds. So eight pounds, five ounces. So roughly eight pounds, three ounces is how much he weighs. Even though he's a lot bigger than my Everly kit, he weighs over half a pound less than my Everly. Or not Everly, my Miracle. Sorry, I don't know how many times I said Everly, but um, the Miracle baby I just did. So I'm going to finish tightening him up and tucking in his cords, and then I will have to... Um, either loosen his strings or take them out, lace them when I put his little body plate on and dress him and then take his pictures. But he is just too adorable. So that is how 
I weigh my babies to be more realistic in weight. And I hope that that helps because I know a lot of babies I see listed aren't over six pounds. They're usually, you know, three to four pounds and that's not a realistic, that's a, that's a preemie. That's not a newborn. Newborns are seven to even up to nine pounds. I mean, seven to eight on average, nine, nine is starting to get high, but that's statistically average, I'm assuming, from what I know. <laughs> so I hope that helps you to weigh your babies.